Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 12th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well as earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here looking at some amazing images of our sun the past two days. Multiple plasma filaments, as I've been documenting this week. That's mostly what we've seen the last two days is plasma filament eruptions and dances all across the surface. Amazing images here looking at the last two days incoming. Little earth to scale there. Large plasma filament interacting on the other side of the sun and then completely opposite side of the sun from southwest to the northeast. Complete antipode reaction. Looking at outgoing here, this is where we will see the antipode reaction on the left-hand side, though, which is the northeast region of our sun, right there. And that did produce a coronal mass ejection. Having a look at multi-spectrum here, pointing out to the last 48 hours of events. Amazing images here, brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed with daily events worldwide. Big Earth-facing coronal hole. And another one here building above sunspot region, completely earth facing and equatorial. 131 angstroms there. You can see that strong M class solar flare that was reported from two days ago. M9.3. And the sunspot regions have been turning around to the backside. Right now we have six that are earth facing. Most of the sunspots have turned around to the back. We had over 13 of them last week. Having a look at these sunspot regions in motion. As things have quieted down within the sunspot regions, the dynamics and magnetics of our sun are changing though. Space weather conditions currently there are none to report. Solar winds are coming in at 336 kilometers per second solar x-ray flux showing a strong c-class solar flare today other than that minor m-class solar flare yesterday solar proton flux is low geomagnetic activity is low have a look here at the space weather prediction center showing their space weather spiral for tonight and over the next couple days minor geomagnetic instability possibles possible aurora sightings there will be a small chance of that iswa space prediction spiral showing the outgoing cme from that antipodal plasma reaction big plasma filament taking off from the northeast limb of our sun have a look at tonight's aurora view line versus tomorrow's looks to be about the same Lasco 3, showing the last three days of events on our sun. Multiple CMEs and one M-class solar flare, strong M-class solar flare. Then having a look at the most recent images here of the outgoing coronal mass ejection. All of this space weather activity thwarted our way, headed our way. But this coronal mass ejection was not. Amazing stuff. Wow. And thanks everybody for all the new followers. Get in the comments section. Let me know where you're watching from. Thank you so much for joining the family and community. Having a look at earthquakes here the last 24 hours. Our earth is kind of looking like a pin cushion. 4.9 earthquake. Huma Tonga. As well, a 4.2 earthquake, uh, southeastern Australia. Timor Leste with a 384 kilometer depth earthquake there. But USGS is only reporting 150 earthquakes the last 24 hours, largest being a 5.6 there yesterday. In Mog Islands, Marianas Trench, Japan, seeing some deep activity. Kamchatka seeing activity as well, 4.9 and a 4.1 there at two station. Alaska, quiet across the North American plate. 
couple notable new earthquakes here in Hawaii, as well as SO2 coming from Kilauea. Quieted down there, Puerto Rico, Caribbean plate, Cocos plate, all of a sudden just gone quiet. And that's a little bit scary. Let's pray that we don't see a large one, but I'm expecting something big here over the next 24 hours. It's been way too quiet the last few days. Most of these earthquakes are from yesterday. 5.5 there, north of Ascension Island, Central Atlantic Ridge. Now let's have a look at the last seven days for shakers and movers across the planet. Largest being the 6.8 Cuba that occurred just a few days ago. Notable earthquakes in Panama just before. Earthquakes all around Greece. And Banda Sea and Tonga region have been heavy region for earthquakes this week. Heads up, Cocos Plate north to the Juan de Fuca. Now let's have a look at our SO2 forecast brought to you by the active and erupting 69 volcanoes. SO2 coming out of Kilauea, volcano, Hawaiian Island, and as well Popocatitl, Mexico. Sulfur dioxide comes from our volcanoes. Earth's natural pressure release valves. Big plume over Indonesia right now. Nasty air quality. And as well through parts of Western India, New Delhi. Air quality is not good and it's going to get worse, my friends. Let's have a look at world weather as we've got a big system moving into the West Coast, bringing lots of rain and snow in higher elevations. And then an Alberta clipper that will bring snow through the Canadian prairies. Strong system here in the long range affecting Atlantic provinces. And then watch for these two low pressure systems here, one from coming from the Gulf and as well a Colorado low to join forces right over Ontario. That could be a big winter storm for eastern Canada. Stay tuned as these forecasts do change daily sometimes with our wacky and wild weather that's happening on our planet. Overlooking Europe, a couple stalled lows here through the Mediterranean. One of them will be grinding off the coast of Spain all week long. Lots of moisture coming through and then big systems here coming from the north, coming into the United Kingdom and parts of North and Eastern Europe you will see a winter storm. Overlooking Australia, Southeast Asia, South Africa. Possible tropical cyclone affecting New Zealand and as well a few uh, possible typhoons here grazing the Philippines and as well Taiwan. Small tropical cyclone there east of Mauritius. Long-range forecast could hit the southern tip of Madagascar and extreme weather for uh, parts of Western Territory of Australia, long-range. As they're, in the win they're almost into spring, we are almost into winter. Leave you here looking at the North Pacific as we've got some strong lows moving in this week, racing across the Aleutian Islands and then scathing down the BC coastline. Lots of moisture forecast for BC and northward. Now let's have a look at our polar vortex depicting our upper level winds that depict our upper level vortex, which is we're looking at our northern polar vortex right now. Winds have really picked up and of course it is looking very organized. And you can kind of see the center of that big polar vortex is over northern Russia should be over Greenland there's Antarctica as their southern polar vortex versus our northern polar vortex as you can see that blue center that is over Russia this is a look at our upper level winds last year versus this year 2023 and 2024. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. Like, share, subscribe. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun.
and get your daily do.